Hello everyone. Uh, today I can show you how we can use Docker to run our Selenium test cases. Okay. So uh, this is a small uh, Selenium code, very basic Selenium code uh, written in Python. So, and uh, here I am using uh, WebDriver remote class and desired capabilities in order to run our test cases on Docker. Uh, here you can see uh, I have a screenshot folder uh, in which we can save a screenshot after running the test case and uh, this is the basic uh, what this code is doing this code open uh, google.com and uh, it will search something uh, uh, docker selenium abc and see the screenshot that's it uh, so uh, what are the steps we are using to configure this so step one is our download is an uh, run docker image for selenium grid server this is the command which we use and after that we can open this url to see the selenium grid ui and we can, we can use vnc to see the actual execution so let's move on and quickly see how we can set up all those things so i'm moving on to my terminal and uh, i can run uh, this command so this command basically download the image if it's not present in my machine and it will pop my container so here our uh, image is already present in my machine so this command is up my container and it's my container id generated so if i can do uh, docker ps then you can see this my selenium standalone chrome uh, container is running and uh, this is my container id and it is created 60 seconds ago okay and the same thing i can verify from the ui also if i can go here localhost triple four you can see uh this selenium grid is running and up and here you can see uh there is no session is running currently and no session is in queue also and this is a version of the Chrome browser which this container is running. Okay, now I can quickly start my test. Uh, okay, so this command will basically start my test, and I can click this, and my test code started. Now, if you can see here, if I can refresh it. Basically, now you can see this one session is running, and if I can click here, this will open the VNC and the default password is secret. Okay. And you can see this uh, my test uh, Chrome browser got open, it will start searching. Okay, uh, you can view the execution from here, all right, and uh, now my test code executed and uh, you can see from here also this my test is executed and the same is a screenshot also saved here okay, this is the screenshot which i got so uh, you can see how quickly we can set up and start executing our tests in by using docker so basically uh, the main benefit of uh, docker is uh, let's say if you want to execute test on different browsers like you want to execute test on chrome version 92 93 94 and so on so if you are running all those test case in locally then you have to uninstall and reinstall the chrome browser but here you what you can do you can just change the image name and start and up the container the desired container of that image so this is the one of the advantages of Docker, and there are a lot of advantages of running uh, test cases using Docker container because it's definitely uh, uh, Docker will take a very less amount of memory, and it will it will definitely various uh, benefit depend on your projects and requirement. Okay. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, Thank you.